Good morning, good morning. This is Joan of Angel on my Facebook Live. There you are. Okay, good morning. What's the point of all this? This is the day before the eclipse. There is so much happening. I want to share with you. Some people are going into this joy, joy. Let's go out. Let's go enjoy. And uh, I want to share with you that that this time of the eclipse is a time of really clearing out what doesn't serve and bringing in the new. And let me let me just share a few things with you. But this is this is my beautiful beautiful new gift shop, which I'm really proud of. But I walked in this morning, and I really had to tweak it. And they and my guides told me I have to share with you what that means. So what did I do? I, right now in my hand, I am holding my incense and I'm not using sage because what happened? I burned myself last night because I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if you, there's the sage, there's the incense, it's copal. It happens to be from Mexico, it's really powerful. The ancient shamans use it. So I am clearing the space in my, in my shop here, asking to let go of energies that no longer serve. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, letting go of energies that no longer serve over everything. And I'm going to tell you why. Last night, a young woman came to the house, and it was a, it was just a relative, and I sort of, not of mine, but I felt really compelled to let her in. Okay, thank you so much, Maria, for sharing the video. Good morning, everyone. Listen, follow along with me. How do we shift the energy so we're ready for the eclipse? First of all, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going around and I'm clearing and letting go. Now, I like to visualize, by the way, a fishnet. One day I read about this fishnet and it really helps me. So if I visualize a fishnet, let's see if you can see it, a fishnet all through here, clearing out any negative energies and attachments. So last night I let this young woman in. We sat right here. And this morning I could feel yuck, such yucky energy. Not that she was a yucky person, she's a wonderful person, but she's troubled. And because she's troubled, hi Yadira M. Joy, good morning, hi Joseph. Because she was troubled, she left her energy here and I was wide open. So again, now what am I doing? I'm clearing the energies and I'm gonna clear the energies in the public spot because you see all this artwork? I want to infuse the art with love. I don't want this artwork to have anything that was negative around it. And so you beloveds can do the same thing in your home. We're just going to take this area because this is where she was and really clear it out. Okay. Energetically. Oh, and I can feel it taking that fishnet and swiping it. I hope you like, you can imagine doing it. Siobhan, and my friend Valerie, you can imagine doing this energy in your home right now or wherever you are to start getting rid of any energies that may have attached themselves to you, to you or to your home or to your space. It is really important now more than ever because this eclipse is more or less a very pivotal time and it's a time where doors are opening. We want to close the dark doors and open those doors which are going to lead us to the temples and I want this art. Good morning, Suzanne, I love you. Oh my God, I've missed you so much, Suzanne. Uh, I've been thinking of your mom, everyone. Her mom is the woman who taught me the first, anything I know about being psychic. Her mom was one of my dearest consultants and changed my life and I was meditating and your mom came in, Suzanne, this morning. So hi, hello, Aline. So yes, start clearing the energy. So all of these beautiful angelic beings have to wake up every day to serve, and, and me too. So, oh, look what I hung up yesterday. I found this packed away visioning art by Gem Angels. But it's all, if it's not woken up and can, I don't know if you can feel it, but just by bringing your attention to it, and, and I have to say this is just like the, the um, fairy in Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, okay? Remember our dear beloved Tinkerbell? Well, if the children didn't believe in her, she was ready to die on the vine. And I swear, I was told to paint just so that, like Tinkerbell, so that the children of the planet can know that angels exist. To know that we have guides. We are not alone. Good morning, Stefan. 
Yes, with Giovanelli. What a beautiful name. So it's so Italian. It flows. Up there is Mother Mary. Now I have to say, what did they tell me? In, behind that box is all the tags and the price tags and my pens and everything. But my guide said, Joan, get it out of the way. Okay, so here we are in a new cleanse area, letting go. Now, what do I do next? All right, now the next thing that I do, I'm going to put this down where it goes. And I am going to find, well, my spray bottle. Good. So the reason we do the spray bottle is that the spray bottle starts, we want to go around and do what I call house blessings. I want to get myself and the house, hello Patricia Bloom M. I want to get myself and my house ready for for good things to happen all day. I want to seal the borders of my house, of my property. I want everyone, thank you, and I want to thank the house. So thank you, beautiful bags, and thank you, guards and angels that came and, and come to me to give me visions. I'm just so happy, and I feel so blessed. So you walk around. I hope you're doing this. You walk around your house, and then you bless it. Thank you. Thank you. I have done this in the past, and I can feel the energy shifting. When do you need to do this, guys? You need to do it if someone has left yuckies in your house. You can really feel it if you've done your work. Or if you can feel energetically cra um, crabby, crabby and cranky, that'll do it to you, too, anytime. So any guys, these new cell phone cases, but see, these are divine beings. And if they are at their highest frequency, Colin and Paula, if they're at their highest frequency, then every message you get, because I have one on my cell phone, every message you get is just, um, what, what can I say? Your words will come out at a higher frequency energetically. So we're going to bless. Thank you, God. Thank you for the ships that come to me. I saw one last night. Uh, yes, I did. I woke up on the ships. It was really intense. These are some of the little, and I want to thank my friend Barbara Hyman if she pops in for creating those for me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. This is my mom's heart down there. I just want to show you her and my mom's heart. So everyone knows that you say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for providing. We have to do this because as I said, energetically the next few days tomorrow with this eclipse, where you go with this eclipse and the outcome deter is determined by your consciousness. Oh, I love you. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you so much, all of you. Please share this with people. I'm just coming out. I have a new group called Calling All Angels. Come, come be an angel with me. Uh, yes. Okay, so Archangel Michael calling all angels to use our sword. Use it in two ways. Use it to cut through anything that no longer serves us and use it to drive out anything that no longer belongs in our energetic field, drive them back, down, 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 so they are actually sent to the light, so they can never return. And after sending them to the light, O oh Lord, let us ask that Archangel Michael holding his sword up like a light beam and a tower, guys, just really shifts and changes the energy not just your energy, but the energy of the planet. So when we go through and we not only clear our space, but then we do the house blessings. Thank you. Thank you for bringing in divine energy. Each of these paintings now are being activated so that they can bring you the highest information and, and wisdom through the channelings, not just that come through me, but through you. And so today, Spirit is saying, Beloveds, Tomorrow, this eclipse marks a transformational moment, not just for yourself, but for the planet. These transformational moments are, and this is, oh my God, we, I landed in front of Abraham. Talk about ancient memories. Talk about how many times Abraham himself has been through these eclipses. And the outcome of this eclipse is dependent upon our consciousness, the consciousness of love, the consciousness of peace, the consciousness that we will go into the light no matter what, and we clear away, um, what's the word, with enthusiasm, 
with joy that we're able to do this because today, the next few days, this is the portal that allows us to drive that out and to open up our doors. So I'm so excited that you joined me. Oh, Karen, there you are. I love you guys. Karen's going to be on my show soon. And uh, next week, you're going to love her. She's like the mindful maven mother of all happiness. And tomorrow more, I have missed you. Please let me know how our painting tomorrow has the timekeeper, one of my most profound paintings. And I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, to, to loving and holding space. Oh, gosh. So one more thing, celestial transport vehicle. So what is a good thing to remember? To remember today and through this eclipse that we are not alone. We actually have guides and angels and, and our spiritual council, our team, they are going to help us dive into the heart of oneness. And that is what this special eclipse can do. And the truth is, is that it is determined by what all of us do collectively with our consciousness. So once again, we ask that you hold that frequency of love, light, and balance. And that together, we see that we can clear those any energy around planet Earth that doesn't serve and letting go, because I'm visualizing it right here. Oh, they told me to visualize it in the center of all of this. But visualizing, I'm going to get a globe right here, but to visualize it and to let go of everything that no longer serves planetary for all, for the good of humanity, and then to infuse planet Earth with all the blessings, with the harmony, and with the peace. So I'm so grateful that you have joined us and... Ah, the masters of the mountain right here holding sacred space with us because the eclipse affects not just us, it affects the planet, it affects the species. I was reading that all the animal kingdom, the dogs, the cats, the wildlife, they actually go into hiding when, when the eclipse happens about 45 minutes to an hour before. So that tells you something. So where should you be? Well, I don't know. I'm not so sure you should be out with the crowd. It's time to hold sacred space. So go inside and see that this is that pivotal moment. See the doors of the veils being opened and fill it with light. Fill it with the choice that the destiny of the planet goes in the direction of peace, love, harmony, the celestial way. Gather with the angelic councils. Go through the doorways of light. Find your people, find your tribes, but find them in a way that you know that it's only through the sacredness of when we come together. Patrick Harrington, you know this, is an amazing medium who carries sacred energy. She's one of the ancient ones. She's one of the ancient ones. So they are so strong in here right now. I don't even know if you can feel it. Hi, Philomena. I'm just so honored. So what is our job? holding sacred space and knowing that we have the ability, we have the timing, the, the next 48 hours to literally holding this consciousness of light. I'm going to post it so you guys can see it again and again and share it, but holding this higher consciousness, knowing that we as light bearers can come together through our mind, our body and spirit, and we can make a shift. On this planet and this is the space captain the, the queen the princess the guardian of the space queen and she just wanted I think she wants me to just over and out with her but go right into that star and that heart of which is in God I have to apologize yes there she goes okay we send love light and healings to all let us know how you like this Come and visit us. We're in the Desert Heart Sanctuary of Joan of Angels in Desert Heart Springs, which is the heart vortex of the planet. And I was sent here. I was assigned to this place to help raise the frequencies here. So step into the heart. Oh, okay. Gosh, you threw me right here to the heart vortex. So beautiful to be with you. So beautiful to hear your shares. We are going right now. Go with me right into the heart vortex. Desert Heart Springs holds that heart vortex for the planet. And so we are broadcasting to you from here. I love you all. Please share our messages. This is Joan of Angels. Thank you.
you. Yes, be blessed through this next few days.